Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHGS. This is your host, Fred Arnold, on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm so happy to be in the new location for KHGS in downtown Newhall, uh, just off Main Street. And this is, I believe, the first recording, the first, the first show here at uh, KHGS, the, the inaugural show. And I'm joined today, I'm very fortunate to be joined today by Grace Lee. Grace Lee is an etiquette expert, written two books on etiquette. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being our inaugural guest. Thank you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, interesting statistics, and, and I'm, I'm really excited to hear because we, you talk about dinner table and children and really how that translates into um, kids being more socially responsible. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Share some of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read something from the Columbia University. Um, according to Columbia University report, children who eat regular family meals have healthier body weights and are less likely to have eating disorders, and teens who eat regular family meals are, I'd be surprised, twice as likely to get A's in schools. Maybe that's my kid, why, how my kids did so well. I thought it was because I was just... <laughs> <laughs> a little more wise, but I guess it's because we really talked about it at the dinner table. Absolutely. That's very, very important. It's, it says that, you know, 32% of the people, of the children, likely never to have tried cigarettes, 45 likely never to try alcohol, and 24% likely to have never tried pot. So now, Grace, important. you're the expert. Now, what does that say to you? Tell me, give me some more inside information on why that is, in your opinion. The eating, um, <clears throat> having a meal together is about bonding. It's about a relationship. That's where you teach. That's what you teach your life skills. And also, it's about feeling comfortable. I was talking to you earlier, and you said your family get together, right? Yeah. yeah. And how different it is when, when everybody gets together and they, they, there's a bond. Yeah. And you, your kid's getting A's. Right? Yes. Yeah, they're doing pretty well. And we have dinner together every... every uh, and, and it doesn't matter. I think they do the same thing at their mother's. They do at my house. And I think that's really important that they sit together with a parent. Absolutely. Even if, you know, sometimes dad works late. Sometimes mom works late. Sometimes it's a split family. But having that time together to be able to share. But I think um, one thing Alex Urbina taught me is to go deeper on some of the questions you ask. Ask your children. Absolutely. That's the perfect time to, to talk. The only thing is that don't scold. Mm -hmm. No no scolding at the dinner table. No arguing. Definitely not. Oh boy, we gotta work on that. Yeah. Because <laughs> the parent the children watch the parents, mm -hmm. right? If if they're arguing back and forth, they figure that's correct to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they mimic. Mm -hmm. So you want to show loving relationship. You're flirting with your wife or your husband mm -hmm. while you're having dinner. Okay, that's important. Oh. Being playful with your children. Absolutely. You know, one of the questions uh, you know, I'll ask is, you know, is there anything today that you didn't quite learn at school? Or Tell me something that just excites you about this week. Tell me yes. about w w what kind of week are you going to create? And they look at you like, huh? Well, you create whatever week you want, to, if it's Monday or Tuesday. Absolutely. And then you also, um, everybody takes turns on saying, saying the prayer, or blessing the food. Somebody comes up with a good quote mm -hmm. that's positive. Uh, and, it. and it's about laughing and enjoying. The other part is have, you know, we're all busy. You're busy, I'm busy, women are busy now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too. They are. So they need help. And the way you, not, not only that they need help, but the way to teach life skills is by having the children help you. Yeah. yeah. I think it becomes teamwork, right? Absolutely. But that's how they learn. You can't just say, learn how to cook, clean your house, or clean your, your room. Uh, you have to do it with them, and they, they train. They train by you, you know, from you. So you got to do that when they're about two, three years old. That's when they're more than happy to help exactly. you. <laughs> <laughs> and they get that habit. Yes, yes, exactly. So sitting, sitting down for dinner is important. We talked about the importance of that. Lots of families watch TV during dinner. Tell me about that dynamic. Ah. <laughs> sometimes that happens in our family. I think sometimes it's fine. You should have at least one time that you're sitting down all together, maybe on a Sunday. Oh, all yes. To, okay. And well, I, I think almost every time, but maybe every once in a while it's the dinner. Or yes. every once in a while it's... TV is fine, but it doesn't... 
established con conversation. And, yeah, so you will get that out. And no texting. <laughs> no no text phone at no the dinner phone table. at the dinner table yeah. unless you're a doctor or something. Yeah. 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 Um, well, my kids must think they're doctors then. <laughs> So a couple don'ts at the dinner table. We talked about don't scold your children. Yes. Um, uh, don't overfeed them. Yeah. Have you been there where you know your mother said eat everything on that table, you know, on their on their plate? So you don't want to do that. Um, we talked about no arguments. Um, let me see. What else did we? Yeah, you know, I think I um, one of the things that I learned uh, when I was younger was always to have a napkin on your lap. Um, for some reason, having a napkin and having your table set sets the mo mood or the tone for the dinner. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you sit down, let's do a little bit of lessons. How much time do we have? <laughs> have time for a little lesson? Yeah. yeah. OK, so your glass is always on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. Glass, cups, all that. And your um, plates are always on the left-hand side. right? And your fork is on the left-hand side, and your knife is on the right-hand side. So those are basics. Yeah. OK? And when you sit down for dinner at home, when, when your mother or somebody calls and says, OK, it's time to sit down for dinner, that means the food's going to be served right away. So you take your napkin, you put it on your lap. There's a certain way to put it on your lap, too. And of course, the, the setting has you know more more ways, right? <laughs> more things to learn. But that's why I have a class. You come, you know, if, if, if you don't know it as an adult, you need to come to class yeah. and learn it. So, you so can let's talk about those classes. Okay. Um, you have uh, a couple classes coming up. One's July 20th, the 27th, and August 2nd. So briefly, can you tell me about the class? Well, this class is not just about table manners. It's a basic social graces class. And um, it's about building confidence so that you know, because kids don't know what they don't know. So you, we're going to teach them how to walk, how to carry themselves, uh, greetings, um, introductions, how to walk in and out of a door properly, how to talk to an adult and have them just love you. <laughs> you know, love it. Those, yeah, those, Th kind those of that want to sign up, how can they reach you? Well, go to socialgracesforkids.com. And over there, I'm giving away a free table manners book. Hmm. So all so your it's audience online, can have right? it. Yes, it's okay. online. And all, at the same time, right underneath is the uh, sign up. Perfect. Socialgraces.com. For kids. For kids. Socialgracesforkids.com. For kids. Great. Well, thank you. Um, do I, so you want to refer everybody? Do you have a phone number you want to give out, or just everyone no, to the everybody, website? Everybody come to the website, and, and then everything is there. Great. And then from there, you can get a hold of me. Great. Thank you. Yes, Thanks for being our first guest. Yes. Hopefully everything worked, right? Did it work? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. Uh, this is Fred Arnold on AM 1220 KHTS.